Uh, my cricket story is quite different. Uh, I had a father who was Indian and uh, he didn't have a son and I seemed to show some promise in the backyard. I, I had an older sister but she didn't enjoy playing that much so it was just dad and myself mucking around in the backyard. You've been with the Southern Stars for quite a while now, probably one of the longest players in the team. What's changed over the years? Oh look, everything's changed. Um, since integration, you know, we've had access to really good facilities, coaching, uh, funding, um, but also the skill level of the girls has increased. Uh, we focus a lot more on strength and conditioning. And as you saw out here today, you know, we can hit the ball pretty powerfully. Absolutely. Um, and I've noticed too, there's a lot more promotion of the women's game happening. You guys are all on Twitter. Was that something that you decided to do yourself? Or did Cricket Australia drive that? Uh, I think they encourage us to get on and, and I'm at, I was quite anti Twitter and Facebook but I thought geez if you can't beat them you might as well join them so uh, I've enjoyed getting on uh, so you can follow me on Stalaker93 if you want to. Awesome and, and do they do you any training or you just sort of jumped right in there? Uh, I just jumped in and I wasn't quite sure what I was doing and how it all worked, but slowly I figured it out. Yeah, it seems to be working well for the team. And in terms of general promotion, like Cricket Australia has done a lot of work lately. There's been some videos and things like that, um, which is great. But it seems that the regular press, uh, the papers, the TV, not quite caught up yet. What do you think needs to happen to make them stand up and pay attention? Yeah, look, I think, uh, I think things have improved. Um, the fact that we're now getting these matches uh, live on free to air is definitely helping. It and slowly but surely with the games being so close and, and high scoring like today uh, hopefully we can get, get the press to follow us but we've we've got really strong male teams in Australia so we're fortunate that we've got very successful teams so it's hard for women's sport. And um, in terms of the games on telly I mean it's obviously great to see you've got on the ABC and Channel 9 this time around how important is it for young girls to see uh, you guys and just women's sport in general on, the, on telly? Look I think it's important in the sense when they uh, when they ask who their role model is that it isn't Dave Warner and and all of the boys that it's actually a Meg Lanning or Elise Perry or Elisa Healy so um, that's important for the, the development of the game but also to get more females involved in it. And saying that who's your role model? Who's my role model? Ah uh, look I've been blessed to have played with a lot of great cricketers um, Karen Rolton springs to mind, um, Belinda Clark um, but I've never really had a role model. I've enjoyed watching both male and females play and tried to emulate some of uh, their performances.